If you know someone with backyard chickens, then a countertop egg tray is an easy gift you can bust out in a couple of hours. Store eggs on the counter, you ask? Yes, it's perfectly safe as long as the eggs are fresh, unwashed, and never refrigerated. I wrote about why for popular science, linked in the description. Chances are you can build this gift with scraps, which, if your scrap pile looks anything like mine, should make this a great project for you. You need one board that's 12 by four and two more five or six by four, all around half an inch thick. Mill these boards down as needed. I'm starting here with two piles of wood because I'm also creating a template to batch these out in the future. If you don't care about reproducibility, measure right on your final boards. Leave about a quarter inch on each end of the tray board for the dado joint and then evenly space the two rows of six holes between them. Position the first hole one inch in from both the board edge and the dado line and subsequent holes every two inches. This is plenty of room for even large chicken eggs, though if you raise ostriches, you have to do your own math and probably need bigger scrap boards. Drill out the centers of each hole with an eighth inch drill bit, and then use those small holes to center the point of an inch and a quarter Forstner bit. When cutting holes with a Forstner, always drill about halfway through from each side or you risk blowing out the back of the board. This method also leaves little discs in the hole when you're done, which are fun to pop out, though I haven't discovered another use for them yet. Next, cut the dados and the legs on your table saw, or whatever your preferred method is. I use the flat bottom blade from my dado stack, though I stuck with the single blade. Full stacks are annoying to dial in for only one or two cuts, plus they're scary, particularly on such a small board. Use a stop block to get a consistent location of your dado on both leg boards. I set mine to three quarters of an inch from the bottom. Cut the groove with multiple passes, sliding the board over slightly in between until the tray board fits in the groove snugly. Smooth out the bottom of the dado channel with a chisel if you need to, and care enough to do it. I don't like doing that, which is why I use the flat bottom blade. Now pretty everything up. I started by routing a small chamfer on the top of all the egg holes so the eggs sit better, and so the sharp edges won't crack one. Fresh eggs are too delicious to waste on such careless accidents. I also cut rounded corners on the legs with my bandsaw and a disc sander. It just looks nicer that way. Use whatever circular object you have to trace the arc. I used a spray paint cap. And now it's time for everyone's favorite woodworking activity, sanding. The holes and chamfers are the tough part. If you have a spindle sander, that'll help a lot or you can jam a sandpaper wrapped dowel into your drill and go to town with that. But since I'm only making one, I just hand sanded the awkward bits, powering through the inevitable cramps until the burn marks were gone and everything was smooth. I sanded up to 220 grit and then rounded over all the edges with the same 220 grit paper. You could use a round over bit on the router for this as well, but you'd have to sand those burn marks too, and that didn't seem worth it for a fast project like this. Glue and clamp the tray into the dados, making sure to clean up any squeeze out so you don't have to sand or chisel again. Apply your preferred finish. I used a spray on shellac because, well, I had some that I needed to use up. That's frequently how I decide what finish to use for those little projects where it doesn't really matter. If you're feeling extra on this project, you can make more than one and stack them. Though if you do that, consider putting some dowels in the tops of the legs with matching holes in the bottoms so that the two trays don't slide and fall apart, cracking a couple dozen eggs. And that's it. A gift fit for a backyard chicken farmer and one that should be worth at least a dozen fresh eggs of gratitude. All for the cost of a scrap board or two and some shellac you didn't have anything better to do with anyway.